Trader Joe's Tuesday, and we are doing a review plus a recipe. So we are reviewing sesame crusted hardwood smoked ahi tuna, and then we are going to make a sushi bowl out of this with the tuna, some sushi rice, cucumber, avocado, and a great sauce. I think you guys are going to love it. I'm super excited, so let's get started. For this sushi bowl recipe, I'm going to show you how to make sushi rice. For one, because I called it a sushi bowl, and also because it's really the only thing that we are cooking in this recipe. So I wanted to take it a little bit farther and show you how to make sushi rice if you've never made it before. Though of course, feel free to use regular white rice if you'd like. But I've got about a cup of sushi rice and I just rinsed this a few times in a strainer. You really just wanna rinse it under some water until it runs clear. To my cup of sushi rice, I'm gonna add one cup of water. We're just going to bring this to a boil. Once our water is boiling, we're gonna cover this and then we're gonna lower the heat to a simmer. And we're gonna let this simmer over low heat for 15 minutes. While our rice is cooking, we're going to work on the mixture that we're actually going to mix in with our rice once it's done cooking. So here I've got one and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar along with one teaspoon of salt. We're going to add two tablespoons of rice vinegar. We're also going to mix in one tablespoon of mirin now we're going to microwave this for 30 seconds just to melt down that sugar. Now the only thing you should be able to see is just the salt because that won't dissolve. So now we'll just let this sit until our rice is done. Now that it's been 15 minutes, we're gonna turn off the heat and let this sit still covered for 10 more minutes. We're also going to make a really quick sauce for our sushi bowl. We're just gonna add a little bit of mayo. And this is probably the ultimate eyeball, but maybe a couple heaping tablespoons of mayo. Then we're gonna add a little bit of sriracha, really just to taste. And then we're also just gonna add a small splash of soy sauce. So we'll give this a quick mix. Now we've got our sauce for our sushi bowl. So here's my sushi rice and all I did is I moved this to a bowl and you can see it's really sticky. Now what we're gonna do is mix our liquid up just to get that salt reincorporated. Then we're gonna add this to our sushi rice. And now we're just gonna gently fold the liquid into the sushi rice. Now that we've mixed the liquid and the rice together, we're gonna let this sit for probably about 15 to 20 minutes just to meld those flavors a little bit and cool the rice down slightly. Now it's time to build our sushi bowl. So we're going to add our sushi rice. We'll also add in our tuna. We'll also add in about half of an avocado. Lastly, we'll add in some cucumber. And then lastly, we're just gonna drizzle over some of our sauce. And now we are ready to eat. All right, friends, we're all done. So we've got our sushi bowl ready to go. I am, as always, very excited. So first things first, I'm gonna try the tuna since we'll do the review first. I'm gonna try to get a piece without the sauce on it so I can accurately review it without any bias. Hmm, that's good. I don't think I've ever had smoked tuna before. It doesn't have a really strong flavor. I was afraid the smoke would be too much, but it's really pretty mild. That's really good. I actually give the tuna about an 8.5. It's got really good flavor. It's mild. The sesame adds a little bit of a textural, a little bit of a crunch, and then adds that depth of flavor a little bit. But all in all, really good so let's try it with a little bit of everything else hmm. super attractive bite <laughs> that is really good the sushi rice it's just something a little bit different i would highly encourage you to try it if you haven't tried sushi rice before cucumber is really fresh avocado is super creamy the sauce adds just a little bit of spice without being overwhelmingly spicy and it's just this is a really good this could even be a good weeknight dinner because the only thing you really have to do is just cook the rice and throw together the sauce. So very easy, great weeknight meal idea. Hmm. I'll put the exact ingredient quantities and recipe instructions on my website, engineskitchen.wordpress.com. Please like and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.